Hello everyone, my name is Jesse and I am part of group G3 Easy. My group and I would like to introduce you to a new television series called The New Challenge. What exactly is The New Challenge? Well, we will help you with that. This is the story of how a young and professional man with his hard work and dedication to his job became the youngest head analyst for the investment firm he worked for two years. Although he was so happy with his promotion, nothing in this world comes without small obstacles. With this great new promotion comes a lot more responsibility. The story will take you through the struggles he faces. Going from being an assistant research analyst and being told what to do, and to be the head research analyst and telling other people what to do. He seems to be lost in such a prestigious new position. But soon, he learns that he must hire someone who will take over his old position. And using his new power in the company, he wants to hire one of his two best friends because he believes will make his work life much better. Even though neither one of them have any experience or ever wanted to do such a job, he feels they will learn to love it. William Jamison's the main character of a new Jalen. Jalen, with his new passion, have him broke, represent individual and group decision making concept of show. Marcus Oliver, the CEO of company William Quarkus, just but fair and ethical individual, represent the social intelligence of the show. Trey Campbell, William's former boss, had trouble adjusting to be in William's college. Represent concept of power in the show. Ryan Smith, William's college of work, had trouble keeping up with work. Represent concept of negative reinforcement and laziness in the show. Jason Thomas, William's friend, already in finance but doesn't have the passions. Represent the world at the concept in the show. Garrett McMahon, William's friend, used underhand method to get what he wants. Represent the world at the concept in the show. John Sepper, worker temporarily assigned to William. Slow at learning but usually don't mind. Represent the concept of positive reinforcement and motivation in the show. Lauren Thomas, one of the people William interviews, just graduated with a bachelor's degree. Angela Pond, one of the people William interviews, had three years of work experience. David Johnson, one of the people William interviews, had to see a persevere. Hi everyone, this is Michael of G3 Easy. You can call me Mikey. Now that you have an idea of who the characters are, let's get into the themes and concepts associated with the episodes. To start off with, let's begin with episode 4. But wait, what about episodes 1 through 3? Well, let me explain. Episodes 1 through 3 are not associated with any of the management concepts that you will learn in this course. However, they will teach you about another concept that is just as important, work ethic. Work ethic is a major concept that pretty much makes up the core of our show, A New Challenge. In each episode, William is faced with an ethical dilemma and must figure out how to overcome it. On that note, let us begin with episode four, A Temporary Solution. Episode four follows William as he attempts to choose among the people he interviewed who will take his place. The theme featured in this episode is organizational structure. In this episode, William's approach is the functional structure model, which is one of the most common types because it separates the specialized knowledge of each functional area through horizontal differentiation, allowing these areas to direct that knowledge towards the firm's key services and resulting in greater efficiency. Hello everyone, this is Myra. Today I'm going to be telling you about episode five titled, You're Hired. In this episode, William must finally make a decision on which of the candidates he should hire for his prior position. 
He has a lot of trouble making this decision, so he turns to Trey in hopes of making a group decision. Um, Trey does not help William, so William has to go through the classical model of decision making on his own, and he ends up making an individual decision, and he chooses Lauren. The reoccurring theme in this episode is the differences between individual and group decision making. As a manager, William learns how important it is to make an individual decision. He learns that making decisions individually might take longer, but in the end, it gave him the successful result he wanted. Hello everyone, my name is Cody Lyman, and I will be giving you a brief synopsis of episode 6, Internal Turmoil. So to start off, Mr. Oliver informs William that his department must come up with detailed research for certain stocks. This information must be perfect, otherwise they may lose on one of their top clients. William wants to change it up a bit and have his department work in teams and all do research on these stocks. Once they have all come up with their information, William will look them all over and make sure that they are all pretty similar to each other. Trey Campbell, William's former boss, did not like this idea and did not want to do it in groups. So Trey did the research on his own and turns out his information was nowhere near similar to everybody else's. Trey felt bad and the rest of the employees respected William for how he handled the situation. This episode really dives into the concept of organizational change, development, and innovation. The key to organizational change is that it may come up unexpected for managers. They always have to be alert, and that is exactly what William did with making his employees group up. Organizational change is necessary in order to keep up with time and being able to adjust to all of the different situations or tasks that may be thrown at you. William doing this leads into another important concept, which is innovation. He had to change up the style of how his employees were going to approach the task and also change how he acted towards his employees. He was being too friendly. Another key concept in this episode is development. William was being too friendly with his employees. He is their boss now, so he had to be able to develop into that kind of leader that can motivate his employees to get things done. Development is something that must occur individually and as a team in order to be successful. So that is a brief synopsis of episode six. Now I'll be giving you a brief overview of episode eight, new challenges, new territory to work out. So in episode seven, it is time for William to review with how his employees have done for the calendar year. He must go over eight of his employees' reviews and see where they currently stand. Many of his employees are asking for a raise, so depending on how the report went, he negotiated with them accordingly. One of the reports he got back turned out to be very poor. So poor, in fact, that he had to let go of this employee. The employee turned out to be one of his best friends in the company for a while now, Ryan Smith. So William sat down with Ryan and let him know that he had no choice but to let him go. Mr. Oliver was very impressed with how William went about his first yearly reports. Two key concepts that came into play in this episode is communication and negotiation. Verbal communication is something that a manager must be very good at. When speaking, you must make sure your words are directly implying to your point because at times for managers, if you slip up on a few words, employees can take certain things completely the wrong way getting your words across and also how you do it are key. William sat down with each one of his employees and communicated with them perfectly. This is something he was able to improve on over time. The other concept, negotiation, is a skill managers need in order to keep everyone happy. Managers must be able to know what they can and cannot commit to, whether that be for employees or other organizations. William did a great job of negotiating to make both sides happy when talking about raises with his employees. And that is a brief overview for you of episode 7. Hello again, this is Myra. Now I'll be giving you a brief synopsis of episode 8 titled One Company, Many Minds. In this episode, Mr. Oliver gives William a project for him and his team to complete a month from that day. Mr. Oliver will assess William's ability to trust his team and also motivate the team. The themes that are present in this episode are placing trust in group members and motivation. As a manager, William must place trust in his team. When a manager doesn't trust his team, it is difficult for projects to be completed smoothly. Being able to motivate employees is also crucial to completing projects. If a manager cannot motivate team members, it is impossible to achieve important tasks. Hi. 
it's Mikey again. Now you've seen the episode's previews, and you have heard from everyone in the group. We want to give you our conclusions on the course. This course is very challenging if you are not comfortable with the group environment. You have to be comfortable talking with others and communicating. Despite it being challenging, the level of involvement and interaction is what makes completing these assignments much more rewarding and much more entertaining. To finish off this presentation, we want to give the future students a couple of tips. First things first, do not procrastinate. Procrastinating will just make not only your life stressful, but also the lives of your fellow group members stressful. You guys will not have a good time. Second thing, work ahead. Be sure you know what the details of the assignment for each week entails, so you can keep up with your group members. It will make the process so much easier and, again, less stressful. Third, communicate with your group, please. Now that goes without saying, considering you are in a group environment. But remember that your professor is not the only one who can help you. Your group members may be able to help you if you run into any trouble. And the last thing is just have fun. If you don't have fun with what you and your group is doing, then maybe you want to point it out to everyone and try to offer alternatives. With that being said, and I'll leave you with our thoughts and reflections on the course.